Blessed day everyone. So we are here to discuss about results view of the future and the creation of the Filipino nation. So we have two parts which will contain the results view of the future and the Filipino nation and the integration. In results view of the future and the Filipino nation, it consists of result the futurist and results concept of the nation in the Liga Filipina. In integration, it contains results future today who say result ideals and their relevance to the youth and our insights regarding to the future or the views of result. Rizal. So I am Lola P. Alpalsa and I am with my members. Nanela siya yung member, Rosemary Mimi. So first question, naniniwala ba kayo sa hula? Ikaw ba, naniniwala ka ba sa hula? Maybe. Kung ano, kung um, depende sa situation yun. Eh, ikaw, Ross, Marina, niniwala ka ba sa kula? Minsan hindi, minsan oo. So, kaya naniniwala ba kayo sa kula? So, yung mga sagot ninyo, pwede nyo namang sabihin sa amin kung naniniwala kayo sa kula o hindi. So, yeah, comment down din na. <laughs> so, results, view of the future and the Filipino nation. So, what comes into your mind when you hear the words, the Filipino national hero, Dr. Rosetta? Some will say, an essayist, poet, a novelist. So, in result of futurists, in result of futurists, Prochamps the word that comes to mind when we speak of the Filipino national hero, Dr. Roselza. Novelist, poet, teacher, linguist, op ophthalmo ophthalmologist, sportsman, sculptor, essayist, and thinker. He was all of that. But there is one aspect of Rizal's brilliance that is seldom discussed. Rizal as a futurist. Rizal was always years ahead of his time. So, ayon sa nabasa ko, parang si Rizal, bata pa lang siya, Mar um, grabe na siyang mag-predict kung ano yung, ah, baka, parang matanda na siyang mag-isip, mature kung baga, ay sana, all mature. So, ah, uh, si Rizal, parang, ah, ganito, parang ganito yung mangyayari. So, ang, ang ibang, Ibang content ng The Result of the Futurist will be discussed by my mem member, Riza, uh, Rosemary Mingmi. So, sis, break away. Okay, today we will discuss to you The Result of the Futurist. Before Rizal was adapted as a paradigm for the modern world, Rizal had already applied the theory to his school in the Pitan, where he strove to teach the whole man. Rizal is a teacher before, wherein he taught his pupils boxing, swimming, fencing, agriculture, and the need for community services to test his pupils their method in real situations. Bakit niya nga ba ginawa ito? Result believed it was in the unpredictable world where intelligence was needed most. Result's vision of the Filipino nation and his precepts for its guidance as are as fresh today as they were a hundred years ago. He wrote his first novel titled Noli Metangere that made him warn Spanish authorities of the bloodbath their colonial policy or lack of policy would lead to. In no sequel, El Caliguisterismo, he predicted the coming of a revolution while hinting in the same breath that the revolution would fail because the Filipinos lack the arms and organization to see it through. So means before pa So means before pa nang nangyari yung revolution, na predict niya na, na hindi hindi magiging successful. He has his most prescient essay titled Filipinas Dentro de Gen Anos written in 1889. Their prediction found in Noli and Phil, Philly were merely insights of an alert observer since they were based on the apparent worsening condition of Spanish colonial rule in the country. But the prediction of Filipinas dentro 
the Jenanos is pro cruel in the country. But the prediction, but the prediction of Filipinas is a complex intellect. We must remember that at the time Rizal wrote the essay, the revolution of 1896, which would lead to creation of a Philippine Republic, independent of and equal to Spain, was more than six years away. And America's presence in Asia would not have happened until the turn of the 19th century, long after he was dead. Result for us all the strength and weaknesses of the Philippine nation today as it stands on the brink of a new and exciting world. So means yung mga strength and weaknesses, weaknesses before and today, siya yung, siya yung parang nagbibigay ex, ex, exciting, exciting moment in the future. Like a chastising father who warned us through the words of Padre Florentino in El Felibusterisme that we will never have a success Successful state or bayan until we have also we also have a successful nation or bansa. There is a world of difference between the two. While the state could provide the infrastructure of government, it is nationhood that create, creates the temper of governance. What Rizal saw as an ideal nation state was embodied in La Liga Filipina, yet another one of the hero scenarios for the future. La Liga was a vision of a moral community in which all of the Filipino work together for a common good, for a better future. Result the future is, and all in all, result the future is, ito yung mga prediction ni Rizal about, mga prediction ni Rizal, in, mga prediction ni Rizal in the future, yung parang, kahit, kahit, kahit noon, Kahit yung prediction niya noon, noon para... So, result the future is all in all. Yung prediction niya noon, di man natin tanggapin, pero yung totoo, nangyayari ngayon. So, that's all. So, we will move on Rizal's concept of the nation in La Liga Filipina. That vision upon which La Liga was founded is as vital today as it was 100 years ago. Result through his writings and his deeds has given us a blueprint of our future. But what we do with it is up to us. So, Result's concept of the nation in La Liga Filipina will discuss to us um, with my member, Janela Shane Membro. So. Proceed. So, results concept of the nation in La Liga Filipina. La Liga Filipina was just a mere footnote in our history. Footnote, footnote meaning um, piece of information in our history sa mga past events na nangyari sa nation natin. The La Liga Filipina is important because there is a widespread perception that La Liga propaganda that La Propaganda did not have a concept of the nation and that they only wanted to become part of Spain. The aims were originally written in Spanish but historian Bernadette Abrera recently uncovered a Tagalog version from Epifanio de los Santos, 1914. Monograph, Proceso del Dr. Jose Rizal Mercado y Alonso. So, si Bernadette Abrera, naka-uncovered siya ng Tagalog version ng Proceso del Dr. Jose Rizal Mercado y Alonso. So, um, in, in his version, which we believe was also used simultaneously with the original. First one is to unite the whole archipelago into one compact, vigorous, and homogeneous body, pisanin ang lahat. Sa isang katipunang malago, malago, masikap, at iisang loob. Number two is mutual protection in everyone and necessity. Damayan sa balang sakuna at 
kailangan sa buhay. Number three, defense against all violence and injustice. Masakitan sa anumang ligalig at kalapastangan. Encouragement of instruction, agriculture and commerce. Covers. Pasulungin ang pag-aaral, ang pagtatanim at ang komersyo. Number five is that study and application of reforms. Pagsasanay at pagkakap, pagkakapit ng mga bago palakad. With a motto of Unus in Star Omnium, One Like All. Independent or not, we can still learn from what results vision of the nation with its own personality and identity that we can hopefully apply in the 21st century. So, um, sino man sa atin, lahat tayo, um, may mga makukuha ang aral sa mga visions ni Rizal. Um, at, in these visions, we will, we can also apply it in our generation, the 21st century. So, Rizal said later, in his December 15, 1896, manifesto, before he died, that reforms, if they are to bear fruit, must come from above, for reforms that come from below are a pupils both violent and transitory. Rizal supposedly was not able to demonstrate his concept of the nation since he was arrested after three days of founding the La Liga. People do not usually realize that his exile in the Pitan showed, showed that Indeed, Rizal implemented the Liga, the Liga there, but now for the local community. As Kibrian said in the Pitan, Rizal introduced progressive education, social entrepreneurship, and community development, which transformed the Pitan from a lonely, faraway place to an industrious town. So, Bale, si Rizal, um, hindi ba? Hindi ba niya yung um, infrastructure, yung um, um, ano na kasi yun? Uh, yung community development ng dapitan. So, um, from a lonely far away place, um, hindi ba niya ito at naging industrious town siya ngayon? So, that's it. So, Rizal's concept of the no. Um, so we will go to the integration. So ang pagkakaintindi ko kasi sa integration is yung yung mga views ni Rizal about sa ating mga youth nowadays. So I will discuss about Rizal's future today, Jose Rizal's ideals and their relevance to the youth. So first, Jose Rizal remains to the foremost young Filipino citizen the consummate hero, the paramount model of all for all Filipinos. So, si Rizal is paramount model. So, he is a uh, role model sa ating mga tao, sa ating mga Filipino. So, next, the characteristics are the same reasons why Filipino youth of so many generations have found it difficult, difficult, impossible even, and to emulate deeds by no less than the national hero. So, sa mga kabataan ngayon, nakikita naman natin na, di ba, ang sabi nga ni Rizal noon, ang kabataan ay pag-asa ng bayan. Pero ano yung nangyayari ngayon? Di ba, parang, parang yung mga kabataan ng aga-agang mabuntis. So, parang sabi ng mga generation natin, marami nagsasabing mahirap. Imposible ay mangyari yan. So, ito next. The monument task of learning and living by the life and works of Rizal they contend with the older generation, Aka, titos, and titas, who constantly reminds them how overly pampered they are, how they won't be able to survive the future, how unprepared they are for life. As if not enough, they are befuddled with memes like let's confuse kids nowadays. So, 
kung sa kung if we are looking for our generation right now um, of what I, I I have read a while ago we are relate right kasi di ba yung mga tito and tita natin yung sinasabi nila sa atin alam niyo yung mga kabataan namin hindi kami ganyan yung hindi kami late nagigising hindi yung ano pag bago na kami pumasok sa eskwelahan um, tapos na kami naglinis nagluto ganun natutulungan na din namin yung mga magulang natin tapos yung iba naman is nagaano sila kaya ng mga memes yung kunwari kapag nagpo-post sila ng mga pictures so na yung mga batang 90s tapos kapag may mga kagamitan sila ipo-post then sasabihin na nila let's confuse let's confuse the kids nowadays so next all millennials and gen zers are within age bracket that spans results cognitive childhood years to his death at 35. So, if I'm going to ask you, are you a millennial? Are you part of a Gen Zers? Or are you part of the older generation within, which is titos and titas? Next, millennials of today are their mid-90s and 30s. So, if we are going to look at our ages right now, we are, we are belong to the millennials. Pero I don't know if we are belong. Then next, Gen Zers. Are today's children, adolescents, and young... Doña Cheodora asserted to young Pepe this golden lesson. Don't go after the light if it will just kill you. So, in the golden lesson, um, I can say that and the life here is yung opportunity yung opportunity which is yung marami kasing opportunity ang binibigay ko sa Rizal dahil sa kanyang mga kakayahan noon so sabi lang ni Doya Teodora don't go after the light if you will just kill you pero si Rizal kasi lagi niyang ginagrab yung opportunity kahit na alam niya na mas ikakapahamak niya maaari niya itong ikamatay but Rizal supposedly reported that there is nothing wrong in pursuing the life even if it meant death. So, parang, ang sa akin Rizal kasi parang wala naman mawawala sa akin kung ipapursue ko man ito kasi kahit naman na ikakamatay ko ito. So, in his two famous novels, we, we will enter here again. So, have time to read, to read his two novels. In his novels, we can clearly view or imagine what results try to imply to his two famous novels that is really happening right now to the youth nowadays. So, um, before we end our discussion, may I request to my two members to please come here so that we can we can share our insights regarding to to the views of Rizal because um, when we are researching some, some views of Rizal to the Philippine nation, we cannot search because of lack of references. So our insights and according to my insight, this is, it, it goes like this. Rizal has a hope that our nation will somebody it will become progressive and independent to other nations. That's why he studied different fields of education because during his time, there are more Filipinos who don't know how to read and write. That's why he wants to help Filipinos who are less fortunate in terms in education and share his learnings through applying it. He also said that the youth is the hope of our nation, but in the succeeding years, it becomes worse until this present day. Rizal was really optimistic about the development and empowerment of the Filipino people. He had made himself a great example, but he was still aspiring a higher excellence and human quality for the Filipino people from what he had shown. I think we must all look to him as the highest in standard of being a Filipino, which is true naman kasi um, Rizal is very intelligent, I think. Para kapag, kung sasabihin ko ang tutusin natin, parang siya yung, yung wisdom ni God, parang nung nagbagsak ng langit ng katalinuhan, parang, 
Para ang dami yang nakuha. So, the other insight of my group makes feel direct. Um, what is your insight, Ma'am Miss Rosmarinini? I think sometimes prediction was formed by the beliefs and the things that we wanted to happen. I think some of results due to the future of our country was his dream for his country to achieve. And how about you, Miss Janela Shin? Through the writings of Rizal and his and has made has given us a blueprint for our future. In his predictions or visions, it reminded ourselves on what we can do when we unite as one with common purpose. Just as Rizal knew, we must know now that we can move forward only if we work together, continuing our energies toward a common goal. Let the compass of history guide us into the next 100 years. So again, I am Noel Tiag Palza. I'm Janela Shane Membro. I'm Rosemary Mingmi. And thank you for listening and we hope that you learned a lot from us. So thank you. Thank God you. bless. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.